Hi there, thank you for choosing our Visual Product Configurator plugin. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up and acknowledge the Configurator page within the plugin settings. It is very crucial to set up a Configurator page because that page is where all of your customers' configuration would take place. I'm just going to dive right into that by going to pages here and adding a new one. So as you would with any new page you create, that's the same process here. So you can call it whatever you like, but let's go with configuration page. There it is. I hit publish. So step one has fully been carried out. There we have it, our configuration page set up. So the next step would be to go straight to the plugin settings and Acknowledge the page. Oh, sorry. There we are. As you can see, there's a page here already. Uh, more than likely, it will be blank on your end. So, what you want to do is scroll to the page you created earlier. There is the configuration page, and then it's save at the bottom of the page. All done. Awesome. Now, it is very important to note that the configuration page cannot be accessed directly. The page needs to acknowledge a product or to reference a product in order for it to know what exactly to display. So if you try to access the configuration page directly, there's going to be an error asking you or telling you that you have tried to access the configuration page directly. The only reason why this error is, is because you haven't referenced a product that should be displayed on this page. In another tutorial, we're going to cover exactly how to assign a configuration to a product so that by accessing the product through the product page, then the configuration page can display exactly what is useful to you and your customers. Thank you for choosing us.